This gaming console is submerged in tap water, and I'm playing Mario Kart on it. But it didn't come like this from the factory. A company named Act Nano bought this device and applied their waterproof coating called NanoGuard to make this possible. And I'm visiting their factory in Boston to address the questions you raised in my previous video on this product. Now the most common question was if they'll sell this to consumers and repair shops. And though they aren't against the idea, their focus is getting it adopted at the OEM level before they can consider expanding to retail sales. Which also means they're not interested in applying it to your already pubertal device. Because liability, logistics, and labor costs aside, a proper application can only be achieved on a board that's completely free of dust and particles. Or simply put, their focus isn't on trying to fix what's already been sold, but to fix what's going to be sold. And to get manufacturers to implement their product as easily as possible, they apply and test NanoGuard coated boards using the same exact machines that are already in the manufacturer's assembly line. The ability to do rework was also a popular question, so I got to watch it happen on a coated board. With just a drop of acetone and a Q-tip, the the coatings removed, and after the new component is installed, a few drops of NanoGuard is applied. Achieving all this without using PFAS wasn't easy, but it was essential to Act Nano that this product wasn't harmful to humans or the environment. And after spending a full day here bombarding the team with questions and asserting my dominance in Mario Kart, I'm thoroughly convinced that the laptop manufacturer that adopts this product will end up being known as the Toyota of the laptop industry. So tag the company you want to see implement NanoGuard in their devices.